we are back with Mission 10X and the fifth session for this particular uh, series. Today I will take you through integration of uh, learning levels and multiple intelligence. And for today, this is going to be our session. This is a continuation with the idea of learner centricity and how to bring about this kind of involvement with the content that we are looking at. Today we will take you through a multiple layer of how we can do this from all the ideas and concepts that we have learned over the last four days. This is however to begin with this session I would want you to take a look at this is our agenda for the day. I will take you through what is a recap of Bloom's taxonomy or what is commonly known as learning levels. This is a recap of what Dr. Sarna did on Monday when in the second half she took you through a level of how to question your learners. I am doing a recap because it was on Monday and today is Saturday. So this is some kind of a refreshment for me also and take you through subsequently in a very normal way. I will then talk about why we need to integrate levels of learning along with multiple intelligence. I will then take you through a demonstration of how using one single level I can use different multiple intelligence levels, uh, sorry intelligences. Subsequently I will reverse the case and try to look at how I can use one single MI to work on different levels. So this is a two way kind of a process, subsequently a small highlight on home assignment and eventually I will hand over to my colleague Sujatha who will take you through the requirements of this assignment for the next three days that we are going to be spending together. For this recap I now request all of you to be high alert and be ready with the quiz that I have with you. So like the previous four times that we have been doing where we will be taking your responses through chat. This is something which is two layered, each question is two layered. First is where I will ask you to do a small little exercise. This is my exercise. I will ask you to choose one of the following lead questions. Subsequently you will frame it and post it on the chat. It is not necessary that you give me answers to all. So the answer is the question itself in this particular situation. I would want you to pick up any one, take the lead from here and given the C programming which is the part of the topic today, complete it and put it on the chat. I want any one of the centers to immediately give me an answer. How will you complete this using your topic C programming? The lead is over here and your time starts now. Very good. COEP Pune gives me how many keywords are there in C? Fine. Anybody else? Any other uh, center please? Okay. How many types of arrays? Okay. Wonderful. How many data types in C? Anybody can use can you name? Okay. What is a function? Fantastic. Anybody can choose the last question and frame one? What is, which is true or false? Anybody? Yes, Manyama, we are looking for your question, completed one, okay, very good. Who was it that created C plus programming language, very well done, good response. Now your time is not over, you need something else. What is this question that we were looking at? This question was what we were looking at the first level of learning. Now what is this level of learning? I want you to unjumble the word given below. Let's see who gives it first. You please unjumble. Your time starts now. 30 seconds is what? Fantastic. I'll give it to Siyangad Pune for taking it right. The first level is remembering and this is where we are when we are asking some typical questions about listing, about what is the kind of questions you all just raised and posted on the chat. Let's go to the second type. These are typically the words which we will use for the action on remembering. Typically when the learner is either recognizing, listing, describing, identifying, finding, naming, retrieving, you have taken the learner to the remembering level. Very well done. All the centers, I'll take you now. Again, choose any one and complete the sentence. 
and frame your questions for C programming. Use any one. Let's see the responses. Let's see who gets it first using this lead questions now. Can you explain why C is middle level language? Fantastic. Okay. Anybody else? Can you explain why? Okay. Can you explain why data types are? Can you give me a lead further? How would you explain function? Why is C case sensitive? Wonderful. Very nice. Having framed these questions and expecting your learners, how do you explain structure? Okay. When you ask this kind of questions, you are taking your learner, fantastic, to the second level of learning. Now I want you to again unjumble this word and in 50 seconds since you all did a good job last time. Let me see in 50 seconds, 15 seconds you can crack this one. Fantastic. This is amazing. Of course indeed the second level is understanding. Very good. This recap is doing good. So this is at understanding level. These are the typical action verbs when you will be using in your particular questions. Interpret, exemplify, summarize, paraphrase, classify, compare, explain. These are action verbs when combined with a question, you are likely to take them to what is the second level of learning and that is understanding. Let's move. Now as you go forward, things will get a little complicated and a little uh, difficult. Let me see how many of you can do this one. Again, the same instruction to you, one of this to complete the question from C programming. Your time starts now. Where array can be used? Okay. I want you to use this lead questions which are being shown on the screen to complete the sentence. Yes, and only last five seconds. Can we check who can give me? Okay. Describe another instance where? Describe another instance where the template can be used. Okay. Another one you can show me. Describe another instance where recursion can be used. Okay. Demonstrate how you will be, how you will use the method of recursion to compute her. Very nice. These are complete questions and I will give it to you all. And having said that, we have gone to the third level and quickly I want you to tell me and unjumble this particular word. Which one is it? Can I see the responses for third level who has unjumbled? Very good. I will give it to Amrita Puri for taking it first. It is applying. I should have reversed my order. Maybe you all know the order. Anyway, I will take you now. This is the right word as you put it up. These are typically the action verbs for applying. Implement, carry out, use, execute, demonstrate when you are asking your learner to be at that level. Again, this is the fourth level. Now let me see how many of you could complete this. Choose any one. And your time starts now. Please complete the question. Yes. How is structure similar to C++? Okay. Very nice. Any more questions? Can you distinguish between care array from string array? Very nice. Very well done. You are all on the fourth level. Very nice. And so are you taking your learners over there. And as I said, can you unjumble this word for me, please? Fantastic. This is going great. Analyzing. You have taken your learner to this particular level of analyzing. Two more levels and let us before going to that see what are the typical action verbs when I am taking my learner to analyzing level. Compare, organize, deconstruct, attribute, outline, find, structure, integrate. These are some of the action verbs we would be looking at when we are taking our learners to this one higher order thinking level. One more. This is getting interesting. Let me see where this one goes. All of you, your time starts now. This is for the fifth level. I want you to complete the questions. Let me see who is doing it first. Yes, 
Okay, SICSR Pune, Mike, MGM Engineering Nanded. Justify if call by reference is better solution. Okay. How would you have handled multidimensional arrays? Very good. KJ Somaya. Very nice. How would you have handled exceptions? Okay. Maybe that is an incomplete question. Okay. Fantastic. And I will give it to you all for doing this. And again, I want you to unjumble this very quickly. You are on fifth level already. One more and you will be going to the one penultimate and ultimate level. Fantastic evaluating. Very good. Full marks to all. I will give it first to Anna University for getting it right. These are typical action verbs for taking your learners to the evaluating level. Hypothesizing, critiquing, experimenting, judging, testing, detecting. One last level and let us see where you are going from here. Your time starts now for this one last level. Remember this is the highest order kind so you will have to be very very careful in what kind of questions you will be raising. I want you to complete this question please then we will unjumble. Yes, one question from one team, 15 seconds more. Develop a program for, okay, develop a program for factorial using functions. Very good. And this is Sona College. Develop a program for sorting the numbers using array. Very nice. All of you are taking develop. Provide a possible solution for dangling pointer. Fantastic. And I will take you here. And you will have to unjumble and this is in the learning level, the highest level or the ultimate level wherein it is the level of. Can you unjumble for me? Fantastic. I will give it to Anna University creating Chennai for that. Very well done. And this is where we will go. Creative, creating, reacting. Okay. Fine. This is fantastic everybody has got through and these are typically the creating level wherein you will be using such action verbs such as design, construct, produce, invent, device, make and all this to the level of learning for your learners. This is at the highest level where you expect your learners to innovate and look at things a little more differently rather than the normal ways of recalling facts. What is it all? I would as a teacher think about making my students take through all these levels. I have tried hard to bring about these questions in which I can also see you did it. But imagine if you had such a question posed in your class. This might be not be relevant to your C++ program. But this is just an example to tell you that sometimes when you are working very hard, Expecting that the students will rise up to giving you the answers of the kind of questions you have raised. Imagine this is one of your questions. Name six animals which live specifically in the Arctic. Surprisingly, maybe this is what your student's answer is. Two polar bears and four seals. Now this is something which you did not expect. Worst case, you have done so much of work to ask your learners, okay, find X. And you thought, wow, what all my students will do? Surprisingly, this is maybe what is the student is saying. Very true. This might be something unexpected to many of the teachers who are very liberal in their thinking. They may say, oh, very innovative, very amusing and maybe a laugh also. But is this the learning outcome we desire from our learners? Maybe not and surely not. Why just maybe, surely not. These responses could have come from our learners of the kind which I just showed you because maybe the entire class was not very stimulating. You took all lectures, probably did not involve them. Maybe did not trigger them enough to get involved with the content. So maybe this is time for us from such ways to understand that we need to involve them all and maybe also prepare them not just to be able to retrieve certain facts 
but to develop their thinking to a level where they are able to be critical and creative. Having said this, this is where we are trying to merge multiple intelligence and blooms or the learning levels so that we can not only stimulate them but also take them to a level where they are critical and creative in their thinking. Let us now see what am I that I am trying to say. This is a little hazy for you but I hope you could come closer to your screen. I have taken this from one reference. The reference details are given below. You might be wondering what I have done. I will explain to you very quickly. The first upper box which is saying the typical task a teacher is giving over here is students are to describe the process of volcano eruption or the formation and eruption of volcanoes. This is a typical description a teacher wants but the teacher wants in a variety of way. The teacher wants it in a form of a report, in a form of a direction to be conducted by way of experiment, by way of drawing a flow chart by way of acting it out through role play, by way of teaching it to a classmate and finally by way of giving a tune to a process of volcano eruption and formation. So the activity or the learning level of description which is at a second level that is at understanding level. The teacher wants this but it wants it or he wants it in a particular form in six different ways. Now when the teacher is doing and keeping one single level but taking it and giving it different forms whether it is a role play, whether it is a flow chart, whether it is putting it into a tune, asking a student to, to teach another student about this, the teacher has involved the learners in six different ways and through the levels of intelligences that we saw the other day. Now what I will do like I said this is one way of involving the level remains the same but the variety changes. Now what I will do is now my intelligence remains the same but my levels are changing. Look over here I have tried to give you over here exactly embedded into your C programming language. I have chosen verbal intelligence. I want to in the previous one I have tapped or I have exploited certain different intelligences of my learners. Now through this particular one I am imbibing this particular intelligence in my learner. So in the first one I am exploiting, in the second one I am imbibing. So through these various ways I am trying to imbibe verbal intelligence but at the same time I am taking them at different levels. And look at the kind of task I am giving them. In the first one I am asking them to list. In the second one I am asking them to explain. In the third I am asking them to collect headlines from newspapers and magazines. In the fourth and I am now taking them at analysis level, I am asking them to conduct a survey which will involve that they will prepare some set of questionnaire or interview some people. Either ways it is a verbal activity. Now imagine when I am taking them at evaluation level, I am asking them to argue why a certain book and I have chosen a particular book and you will know why I have chosen that particular book by that particular author. And imagine at the last level I am asking them to create what is a puzzle which is in the form of either a crossword or I am asking them to create a rhyme using some certain keywords. So you could see that the intensity of my level of learning about C programming is increasing and simultaneously I am also involving them to create a kind of confidence in the verbal skill or verbal intelligence they have. So I have shown you both the process how to exploit and exploit the learners intelligence and thus involve them or imbibe these things and still involve them and take them through different levels to make them critical thinkers. Having taken you through blooms and the learning levels and expecting that you know all the levels of intelligence, I will now take you through another round of quiz and this is interesting. I am going to give you on one side a set of action assuming that this is what you will be asking your learners. 
do not read all of them we will go from right in the beginning to the last in this quiz you will have to type quickly for the first one write a jingle to advertise the latest version of c++ what intelligence am i tapping of my learners and in asking them to write this jingle which level have i taken my learner to so you can see two empty columns over there as against for each action i want you to give me the most predominant very good musical intelligence and the learning level and the learning level musical intelligence is tapped and who was the first one to give me okay siha gad has given me analyzing okay i'm still looking for the right one see it is asking you to write a jingle very good sicsr pune you get right in saying that creating is the one fantastic so the mi that i have tapped is musical and i have given oblique interpersonal intrapersonal simply because this jingle the teacher can decide whether the jingle is to be created individually or with along with the peers but musical is the right one which i have given and as the college pointed out it is creating let's look at the second one i have now asked my learners to prepare a question bank using keywords of c++ programming please read the task prepare a question bank using keywords let me see for the second one please give me in the order of the multiple intelligence comma the learning level so that i can understand okay as i csr is saying linguistic fantastic and applying linguistic and analyzing please give me both the words am i used and learning levels in the same order don't give me separate words so it will make me easy ase you have given me only one can you give me the other one also coep has given me correct in linguistic i will grant it it is intrapersonal and linguistic because again this is a person individually creating okay what is the learning level please see what i am asking using keywords of c++ okay i will not take you through long this is simply a remembering level i am only asking you to give me keywords you just have to recall in making this particular question bank let us move to the third one conduct a survey to determine the re reliability and efficiency of a software package that has been recently launched in the market what am i have i used of my learners for this multiple very good visual anybody else <laughs> i am asking conduct a survey conduct a survey what kind of a multiple intelligence is this logical very good and analyzing no okay i will give it to coep pune it is interpersonal and linguistic it is about conducting a survey it is not about it is merely conducting a survey and at learning level it is evaluation because i want to test what is the reliability and efficiency of a software package this requires a lot of fifth order thinking that is happening we will go to the second last one use a venn diagram to show how int and float are the same and different use a venn diagram i am insisting on a particular word what multiple intelligence are you tapping visual and understanding fine okay i'll give it to i'll give it to kces college for getting that right which is the level i'm asking you to understand okay creating understanding analyzing i will give it to asc amritapuri for getting that one right it is analyzing fantastic anna university you to got it right i will take you through one more for this quiz and then i will uh, move forward because this will get a little okay sona college visual very nice last one can we see device a role play that depicts use of linked list i am asking my learners now to devise a role play now tell me what am i am i exploiting and what learning level am i taking them to 
Can I have the answers? Okay. Bodily. Fantastic, Siyangad. I will give you that one. Siyangad, can you give me the next one also? Okay, COEP also has got it right. Bodily interpersonal understanding. Okay. Level reached. Linguistic bodily. SICSR, I will give it to you first. It is both. You are right. Kinesthetic, interpersonal and applying. You said creating. It is applying. Very good. Anna University, you got that right. Similarly, I can move forward and I have four more but I will not take you through the quiz because this can get a little longer. When I am writing an essay on programming languages, of course linguistic and at a very typical level of understanding. I am expecting my learner to make a flow chart but now this time I am asking them to make critical stages of a histogram equalization. So obviously my flow chart will depict the idea of visual and since I am asking them to take to critical stages of a histogram equalization, it will typically be an understanding. Design a board game for the topic loops. I am asking now you to design and it is a board game. It will therefore be kinesthetic or linguistic depending upon the fact the board game is a word puzzle or it is something which has got to do with a visual on the screen where I can make it a computer game and the level reach is of creating. If I am asking you to make a cartoon strip using Mr. Dumbo showing the sequence of events in nested loop, I have taken again through and tapped multiple intelligences but my learning level since it is making a cartoon strip and that is simply on a sequence of a nested loop, it is merely remembering. So you can see here while my MI which I am tapping the multiple intelligence could be as intense as creating a cartoon strip, the level could still be very very at the fundamental level of remembering. However, I have showed you a variety of ways in which you can possibly involve your learner and in involve them in such creative ways that your class will never be the same again. Your classroom will be a place where, where we typically say student run to come to your class, not run to go back to their hostels. So do you want to have a class where students run to your class and walk to their hostel or you want them to walk to your class and run to their hostel. With these interactive methods and these involved learners with the content of their liking, I am sure you can make your classrooms even more interesting and exciting than ever before. Whether it is C++ or something as interesting as literature, subject can never be a barrier. It is only our imagination that is the limit. I will leave you with this final quote which is very inspiring for me and I am sure it will make sense to all of you as well. Thank you so much and thank you for being a very nice audience. And I really wish that we could see each other face to face but maybe this is also one of the ways in which we can learn. And I am glad we did this and I will see you very soon sometime in future. Happy learning and enjoy the remaining sessions with Mission 10X. <laughs>